Donna Mahoney knocks it down. Eddie Brown. Eddie. Ball knocked away from him, but he's got it back. Back to Paddy Buckley. Paddy looking in towards the goals. Kieran O'Sullivan coming out. Ball flicked out to Paddy Buckley. Paddy passes it in, but Barry Dunho intercepted and away the ball comes. <coughs> Kevin Crimmon. <coughs> Kevin. All the way down to Dan Reardon. Dan a nice back heel, but didn't quite go where he intended. Got back to by Brian McMahon. Brian. Picked it up the field. Paddy Buckley. Kean O'Mahony. Glare of the spotlights in our eyes. Doing our best without a programme in this novice final. Kevin Kremen with the ball being faced by Brian McMahon. Kevin kicked it down the field. Daniel Reardon may be penalised for picking the ball off the ground. Free quickly taken and uh, ball breaks again. Got by Kean O'Mahony. Kean O'Mahony to Garrod Kassan. Garrod being tackled by Lock and Maloney, it looks like. Listol break away up the field. A ball with Paddy Buckley, great servant of Listol football. Kick half blocked down, going in towards Tom Rahilly. Tom Rahilly being followed by Mike Scanlon. Way up there. Topped, still no score in the game. Ball got by Eddie Brown. Eddie Brown gets it in and gets it back again. And that's a good point by Eddie Brown. The first score of the game for the stole. Eddie Brown wearing number nine. The um, uh, member of the Kerry Minor panel. The ball is kicked out on the far side of the field. The stole dominating the first few minutes of this game. Going right through again, it looks like Eddie Brown from here. But Eddie's shot might go. Is it wide? Umpire didn't quite signal. In goals there for Bellagian, who Eddie Sheehy. And right outside him, Mike Scandon. In actual fact, it's gone out for a 45 to the stall. One point and no score. Novice. North Kerry Novice Championship Final. And then beautiful winter's evening here in the stole under lights Brian McMahon on the stole being tackled by Kevin Kremen getting it to Paddy Buckley the referee brings it back free to the stole as I say beautiful setting for the game and a clear January night as Mike Scanlon wins that ball well maybe fouled by Tom Rahilly get it out quickly to Donald Dial. Donald Isle, 30 metres out, being faced by Paddy Buckley, kicks it down the field. Dan really going for it, the ball goes out over the sideline. It might be a line ball to Barry Donahoe. Dan Reardon kicks it away down the field. Chasing it there is Shane O'Driscoll and Thomas Dinehan. Looked like a foul on Shane O'Driscoll, play goes on. Shane trying to get out of it, gets it out to Kean McCarthy. Uh, Kian, or it may be Darren Shoot. Darren Shoot. Say we're operating without a program. Ball kicked into Tom Melville. Tom Melville. Ball knocked away from him. Thomas Steenhan tossing in. Or Sean Kassan. Sean Kassan takes his shot. And is that the first score of the game? The umpire going for the flag. First score of the game for Barry Dunho. One point each. Sean Kassan, the scorer. Another great servant of. Paddy Donahoe football. At point scored by Sean Kassan, and if we're not wrong, that's his son, Richie, looking on there, hope, hoping to play like he's dead someday for Paddy Donahoe. One point each. Kick out by Mike O'Connor. Left footed, way to the far side of the field. Brian McMahon may get it, it's very close to the sideline. John O'Mahony for Paddy Donahoe, but it's gone over the sideline. Line ball to the stole. Barry Dunho intercepted. Connor Kennelly back to Kean Mahoney. Connor Kennelly and again the stole come away with it. Number seven, according to the small sheet we have here, is Adam Scollard. Adam kicks it away over there on the far side of the field. That might be Jerry Kelher. Ball kicked across into the middle. 
Going forward is Adam Scullard. Adam Scullard, Paddy Buckley calling for it. Paddy getting it. Looking towards the goals. A high one. And it's gone way out to the right and wide. Ball quickly kicked out. Got over there on the far side by Dean Dowling. Keanu Mahaney. The glare of the lights. You'll see it yourself when you watch this tonight. The ball coming across to Willem Kassan. Willem into the middle and Tom Melvin tackles uh, the ball. The ball comes back to Jerry Kelleher. Jerry kicks it in low. Tom Rahilly and Mike Scanlon, but Mike is out first. Mike coming out with the ball. Getting it out to Donald Dial. Donald kicks it down the feet towards Dan Reardon. Dan keeps this one in play. Getting it back again, maybe to Donald Dial. Ball going in towards the goals. Thomas Deanhen and Shane O'Driscoll tussling inside there. Thomas might be fouled, and yes, referee Pat Shanahan from the wall. And maybe it was Sean Kassan. Sean Kassan gets the ball across to John O'Mahony. John takes his shot and it's got by the goalkeeper Mikey Connor. Mikey gets the ball out the side to might be down shoot over there up the field at Tusting for it it will break got by John O'Mahony. John across to Kevin Kremen. Kevin Garrod Kassan running inside him the ball gone ahead got by Brian, Brian McMahon knocked it away and this door coming out with it it's a free end the referee maybe bringing it back he might have had his hand up there it a, looks like a free to Barry Dunhu Sean Kassan and Garrod Kassan and Shane O'Driscoll in the picture play goes on Sean Kassan going right through it's a it's a goal a goal by Sean Kassan the ball moved quickly there and Sean Kassan adding to the point he already scored a very good goal the store cut unawares but you know who one goal and one point this stole one point kick out by Mikey Connor on a crystal clear January night here in this stole under lights beautiful setting but for the glare in our eyes the ball now with Kevin Kremen Kevin way over towards Garrod Kassan Garrod and breaking through the ball again is Kevin Kremen Kevin makes his shot Thomas Steenahan it's a goal Thomas Steenahan the scorer high ball dropped in Thomas Steenahan chased in after it and flicked it into the net but he don't know who Two goals in the space of a couple of minutes. Thomas Deanahan played most of his football in defence. Now in attack, getting that goal. Kick out by Mikey Connor. As we look at the people in the stand, ball is kicked out on the far side of the field. Ter Terrific glare from the lights, but it's great to have them at the same time to be able to play football here in Frank Sheehy Park in the stall. The ball with Jerry Kelleher. Jerry getting it across to uh, Eddie Brown was looking for it, but it might come to Lachlan Maloney. Kicked across to the side of the field. Now Lachlan has got it. In for the stall. Coming across might be Jerry Kelleher and a dangerous ball dropping in and it's probably a free is it Polly Buckley looked like a free but Mike Scanlon comes away with the ball Mike Scanlon and uh, crashes in to Lachlan Maloney play goes on but he's going to break with John O'Mahony way off to the far side of the field over there might be Kian Mahoney not too sure of the distance that's William Kassan William Kassan back to John O'Mahony John kicks it well down the field. Brian McMahon. Brian handled a good few balls in the first 10 minutes of this game. Brian breaking up the field. Kicked it up. Might come to Paddy Buckley. And Paddy similarly has played the ball four or five times. Sorry, Paddy with it now. Getting back from Tom Riley. Uh, John James Buckley. Now it's with Lock and Maloney. 
They're still passing well and kicking it in. It might come to... It's a good score. That's a very good point for the stall. Might be got by Locke and Maloney, the midfielder. It was indeed Locke and Maloney. Kick out by Eddie Sheehy. Eddie kicks a low one. But you know, in possession over there is Kian Mahoney. Kian. Pass it across into the middle to John O'Mahony. John. The ball comes back into the middle. Kian O'Mahony again. But he's home making progress. Over there to Sean Kassan. Good pick up by Sean Kassan. John being tackled by Eddie Brown. The ball is very close to the sideline over there. It, the Stowe win it back. Got by Dara Hughes. Dara Hughes. Passing it over there on the, on the far side. Might be Locke and Maloney. Kicks it up the field. It looks like Tom Rahilly. Tom Rahilly to Paddy Buckley. Paddy Buckley. The still might be behind but they're well in this game. Towards John James Buckley. John James picks it up well. That's it back. From here it looks like Jerry Kelleher. Left footed and... Is it... A um yes it's a point point for the stall wasn't too sure there for a minute might be Jerry Kelleher let's go that Eddie Sheehy kicks it out to this side well cut by Eddie Brown Eddie Brown beautiful footballer Eddie Brown two goals and a point 13 minutes gone two goals and a three points for the stall as Tom Rahilly turns in towards the goals and that's an excellent score by Tom Rahilly for the stall Two goals and a point for Barry who Four points for the stall. Looking at Eddie Sheehy in front of him is John James Buckley. Tom Rahilly and Mike Scanlon. The ball is kicked out way over to the far side of the field. Amazing most of the play so far on the very farthest away point from us as we're here in the stand in Frank Sheehy Park. Looked like a foul over there on Conor Kennelly. The referee says no, the ball comes back to Gerard Kassan. Gerard. Gets it across into the middle. Might be Kevin Kremen. Kevin Kremen. Being tackled and maybe fouled. Referee Pat Shanahan. A free to Barry Donahue. Taking this free would be Gerard Kassan. Maybe... 35, 40 meters out. Barry Dunahoo, two goals and one point. This stole four points. Garrod Kassan. That's a good long kick by Garrod, but it just goes out to the right and wide. Hard luck there. As we look across to the far side of the field, Donald Enright, Martin Moore, Brendan Buckley, Dermot Lynch. Selectors with the Barry Yanahu C squad of 2017. The ball is kicked out. Mm, nobody has ever yet to tussle for it. Ball might be got by Conor Kennelly. And Pat Shanahan gives a free. Conor Kennelly fouled as he's picking up that ball. Kicks it quickly. Back to John O'Mahony. John. Being faced by Breed McMahon. Gets it down to Conor Kennelly again. Conor. Gets it across to Garrod Kassan. Garrett Kassan back to John O'Mahony. John right footed. And it's another goal. Thomas Deenahan flicks his second goal. A little bit of a tussle inside here between the goalkeeper. Shane O'Driscoll, the fullback, and Thomas Deenahan. John Kassan goes in. You'll see yourself. It's a little bit of argy bargy, but from here, Thomas Deenahan seemed to flick that ball into the net for his second goal. Referee Pat Shanahan sorting it all out. Nothing major. Speaking to Thomas Steenahan and Shane O'Driscoll. As they shake hands, a good sporting game so far. Mike O'Connor will take the kick out. 
Two goals from flicked in by Thomas Deanahan. And the ball breaks, Daniel Reardon. Daniel going right through, another chance for Barry Dunhu. Daniel Reardon, but it tails away to the left and wide. Three goals for Barry Dunhu. Uh, two, three goals and a point for Barry Dunhu. Four points for Listowel, 17 minutes gone. Two goals scored by Thomas Deanahan, one by Sean Kissan. And Sean has also got a point. And there's a switch. Mikey Connor O'Connor going off. Mike O'Connor going off to the Stoll team, the goalkeeper. Unlucky maybe with those high balls that dropped in on top of him. Had no chance with Sean Kissan's goal. He's replaced by Mikey Kennedy. Terrific servant of the G in general and Listowel football in particular. Mikey would kick this out and he always had a very long kick of the ball. Will probably drop this out into the middle of the field. That's exactly what he does. Up they go for it. Paddy Buckley. It goes beyond him. Coming out is Mike's or it's Dan Gogarty. Dan Gogarty. To, uh, Kevin Crimmon getting it from Donald Dial. Very on top at the moment. Kean O'Mahenny. Kean gets it to Dan Reard Daniel Reardon. And that's a very good score by Daniel Reardon. Barry Dunahoo beginning to get on top roughly 20 minutes gone kick out by Mikey Kennelly again Mikey kicks it out and again it goes towards the middle or the far off side of the field well cut by Paddy Buckley Paddy looking for somebody to give it to him moving up from the backs over there might be Brian Mackman in the distance Picked it up for about Barry who are on top up there at the moment. A ball coming to Kean O'Mahony. Kean, o or Kean gets it out to John O'Mahony. John. To Kevin Crimmon. Back to Kean O'Mahony. On to this side of the field towards Donald Dial. Donald. Crossing the middle of the field. Looking for somebody to kick it. Up. Kicks a long ball down. But nobody there but Shane O'Driscoll. Shane gets it out to Brian McMahon. Brian across into the middle. Might be Darren Chu. Gets the ball up to Lachlan Maloney. Lachlan got a good point there later on. Looking towards the goals again. And is that gone over the bar? No, it's dropping over to the right. Flicked out. Well flicked out there by Dean Dowling. The Stoles still have it. And a dangerous ball, and it's gone over the bar. It may be it is Kieran O'Sullivan that got that score. Not sure if Listowel are using the. Yeah, he started with a num number 18. Might have been Jerry Kelleher. Kieran Sullivan. You see the glare of the lights. Free as Pat Shanahan. Maybe booking somebody there. Or a warning. But the ball's got by Brian McMahon for the stole. Brian. North Kerry. Novice Championship Final. Paddy Donahoe versus Listole. Paddy Donahoe leading at the moment. At the ball with Dan Hughes. Dan looking towards the goals. That's a good shot by Dan Hughes. But got by Eddie Sheehy. Eddie Sheehy. Gets the ball out. Cleverly. To Kian O'Mahony. Kian giving it to Kevin Kremel takes it back crossing the middle of the field punches it on to John O'Mahony John but he's on top around the middle of the field at the moment the ball comes back to Kevin Kremel kicks it away over there Kian O'Mahony uh, uh, Con uh, Connor Kennelly Connor Kennelly and it Comes across to Dan Reardon, a chance for Dan. And a great save by the goalkeeper, Mikey Kennelly. Gone out for a 45. Mikey not long in the game. Certainly saving what looked like a certain goal there. Good shot by Dan Reardon, but an equally good save by Mike, Mikey Kennelly. As John O'Mahony prepares to take the 45. John looking towards the goals you can see over his head there the glare of the light 
as John takes the kick it's going to drop short might be got by Sean Kassan again Sean left footed but this one gone to the left and gone wide Sean has already got a goal and a point to this game 3-2 to Barry Donahoe 20 nearly 24 minutes gone 3-2 to 5 points for Listol that's 11 to 5 Barry Donahoe lead by 6 Paddy Buckley Paddy gets the ball across to Eddie Brown Eddie back to Paddy Buckley being tackled there by is it Donald Dial? But, but the Stoll still have it. Eddie Brown drops a high one in towards the goals. Mike Scanlon and it's Tom Rahilly. Tom looking towards the goals. And the ball goes across and the referee might give a free in for that tackle on Tom Rahilly. And a chance for the Stoll to pull back another point. Just outside the 14 metre line. It's free. Taken by John James Buckley and John James tips it over the bar. This stole. Creeping back into it. Three goals and two points. Two, six points for the stole. Kian O'Mahony. Getting it across. It might be Donald Dyle over there. The ball kicked across. And down the field it goes. Out comes Thomas Dean and then Shane O'Driscoll. The ball beats both of them. Dan really going back in, but Listol win it back. That's a free out. A foul. Or is it? No, the referee it is actually a free out. Ball kicked out quickly. Eddie Brown. Getting it back to Darren Chute. Listol break up on the far side. With Tom Melvin. Tom. And Listol still have it. Barry Dunho under pressure now. Ball goes up. There to Kieran Sullivan. Kieran Sullivan gets it back. It might be Derek Dillon over there. Ball goes into the middle to Gary Hughes. Gary Hughes back to Paddy. Uh, that's a great score for Listol from the very, very far off side of the field. Not too sure from here. You'll see it yourself tonight. And that's another point for Listol. Brian McMahon. Eddie Sheehy with the kick out as we shove close to half time. Ball got by John O'Mahony. John kicks it down the field. Connor Kennelly, but not quite going his way. Paddy Buckley getting it to Darry Hughes. Darry Hughes, anybody is game. Just at the moment, the ball with number 25 for Listo. We don't have a program, but Tom Riley has the ball. Tom Riley back to Eddie Brown. Eddie Brown back to Lock and Maloney. Got a good point already, but this one drops into Eddie Sheehy. Eddie getting it out again to Kevin Kremen. Very on home breakaway. Kevin Kremen faced by John James Buckley. Sells a dummy. Now being Paddy Buckley coming to him, but he gets it down the field. That looks like Connor Kennelly. Connor Kennelly. But it was got by Tom Melvin. Or, sorry, Adam Scollard. Adam Scollard gets it out to Brian McMahon, but the referee has blown his whistle. Pat Shanahan from the wall. Refereeing here tonight in Frank Sheehy Park in Listowel. Listowel player down injured. It might be Adam Scollard. And we'll see his number. Brian McMahon there beside him. As we look at the people in the stand ball kicked up the field from the free got again by Eddie Brown Eddie making progress kicking it out the far side but go it might come to lock them or is it Tara Hughes Tara Hughes over again to Kieran Sullivan kicks it across into the goals but that's going to go wide the stall will be disappointed with that Eddie Sheehy Takes the quick kick out to John O'Mahony. John moves the ball quickly to Darren Gogarty. Darren trying to break the tackle. Gets it to Donald Dial. Donald Dial looking down the field and then kicks it down the field. It 
Thomas Deenhan coming out for that, but it's got by Brian McMahon. Tackled by Thomas Deenhan. Brian McMahon, the referee, gives him a free. Free out to Listol. Locked him alone, he's on his own, but the ball must go back. Pat Shanahan uh, doesn't allow the free, I think. He's called for half time. So three goals and two points for Barry Donahoe. Eight points for Listol. We'll be back with the story of the second half of the North Kerry Novice Championship final. In a few minutes time, 3-2 to Barry Donahoe. Eight points, 30 minutes and 30 seconds when Pat Shanahan blew the whistle. So we'll be back for the second half. Shockley. One, two, one, two, one, two. Pat about to throw in the ball for the second half as Barry Donahoe lead by three points. Three goals and two points to eight points. List all break away with Eddie Brown. Eddie Brown looking down the field, kicking it off towards the far side. Tom Rahilly might. They're hoping to get it. He doesn't. The ball goes back to Donald Dial. Donald kicks it over very close to the sideline. It's gone over the sideline, line ball to the stole. A lot of the game in the first half was played in the farthest away part of us from us in the field. The start to the second half doing the same thing as the rain comes down in the stole. The ball now with Eddie Brown. Eddie Brown kicks it across to Tom Rahilly. Tom, faced by Mike Scanlon, kicks in a high ball. It might come over there to Dean Dowling or to Donald Dial. Knocks it back nicely. John O'Mahony trying to come out with it. It's a free out to Barry Donahoe. Ball kicked across on the far side. Donald Dial gets it up the field. Daniel Reardon almost had it, but Darren shoot. The ball back with Larkin Maloney. Back with Darren Hughes. Across to Eddie Brown. Eddie Brown. Making a good run is Eddie Brown. Passing it out to this side to Tom Rahilly. Got a great point in the first half. Knocked away from Mike Scanlon. Mike coming out with it and passing it up the field to Kevin Kremen. Kevin crossing the midfield. Kicks it left footed towards Daniel Reardon. Daniel Reardon forced a great save from Mikey Kennedy in the first half. Chasing after it, Sean Kassan will be happy with his first half contribution of two goals and a point. Sean, the captain of the team, going right through. A chance for Sean Kassan. But he's bottled up inside it by Shane O'Driscoll. The ball comes back to Garrod Kassan. The stole defending well. Garrod looks towards the goals. Takes a shot, but it's gone high to the left and wide. The stole defended quite well there. Hard luck on Garrod Kassan. A good kick, but it just tailed away to the left. You might not see it clearly, but the rain is coming down here in the stole tonight will make conditions slippery. A ball with Brian Mackman. He certainly has played a lot of the ball for the stole. Brian Mackman over in front of the same in front of St. Michael's College. Gets it across into Lockham Maloney. Lockham Maloney moving it on down quickly. Torres Kieran Sullivan. Kieran Sullivan. And the ball is kicked across into the middle. And it might come to Lockham Maloney. Our Dara Hughes running inside. But Donald Dyle is in the way. Well played there by Donald Dyle. Kicks it across again, as I say, most of the play on the far side of the field. Brian McMahon to Eddie Brown. Eddie Brown looking towards the goals. Passing it in to Dara Hughes. Dara Hughes back to Paddy Buckley. Paddy Buckley takes a shot and it's gone over the bar. A very good point by Paddy Buckley. And this still come within two points of Paddy Donahue. Three, two to nine points. Audi Buckley has given many years of service to this old football, as indeed has Mikey Kennelly at the other end. Kick out by Eddie Sheehy. Eddie. Done quite well so far in goals. Has kept a clean sheet. Will Eddie kick it long or kick it short? He kicks this one long, oh, out into the middle of the field, up they go for it. Eddie Brown, Eddie Brown to Paddy Buckley. Paddy Buckley back to Eddie Brown. Eddie making progress. 40 
30 metres out, still going as Eddie Brown, left footed, and if that's a point, it's an excellent score by Eddie Brown. That's his second point, he made a very good run, right from the kick out, and finished with a left footed point. One point in it now. Listol creeping back ever closer. Three goals and two points to ten points. That's eleven to ten. Four minutes gone. Kick out down at the other end of the field by Eddie Sheehy. Eddie getting it out the side. Got up by to a Donald Dial. Donald Dial further up the field. And Darren Gogarty. Darren who got the kick out in the first place. Darren Gogarty. Back to Conor Kennelly. Conor looking towards the goals. Kicks it in, but it goes out to the right. Mikey Kennelly going out there with Thomas Dean and tussling for it. Mikey gets it out. To Brian McMahon. Brian. Made good progress. Gone about 50 metres of the ball. Punches it down the field further. Might come to John James Buckley. John James Buckley. Kieran O'Sullivan inside him. Kieran. Turns back and it might not be Kieran. I'm not too sure now because it's, there's a number 25 and we don't have a programme. But Paddy Buckley we do know. Paddy Buckley. Two. Lock and Melody. The referee seeing something there. Paddy Buckley wondering what it is. It's a free to Paddy Donahoe. Then they'll rear them, but the ball breaks away from him. Got by Adam Scollard. Adam Scollard. And that looked like a foul on Kean McCarthy or Darren Chute. Kean McCarthy, number two, we are told. Darren Chute, number four. Ball kicked down from the free. And that looked like a free out for a foul on Dan Gogarty, but Lachlan Malloy going right through, chance for Listole, and the referee penalises him for maybe over carrying, and it's a free out to Billy Dan Gogarty. Back to Eddie Sheehy, back to Dan Gogarty. Billy Dan trying to get it out of there. Kian O'Mahony will bring it out and get it out to John O'Mahony. John, strong man, John. Moving the ball up the field to Garrod Kassan. Garrod is fouled, surely that's a free. A free. Garrod kicks it quickly across in to the middle. Got by Mike Scanlon, up from full back. Going right up to the middle. Gets it to Kian O'Mahony. Kian O'Mahony getting it out to Eddie Hulhan. Eddie Hulhan and Mikey Kennedy breaks it out. Sean Kassan and what a goal! Sean Kissan, the scorer. Thomas Deenan got two in the first half. Sean Kissan has two now. Two goals and a point. I might have said he got two in the first half. My mistake. Sean has got two definitely now, the captain. That ball broke. Out to Sean Kissan, and he didn't miss. Two goals for Sean Kissan, two for Thomas Deenan. And that brings Benny Dunhu's score to four goals and two points. Till it stalls 11. So, Paddy Yanahu, not scoring points, but scoring goals. Ball kicked out by Mikey Kennedy to Brian McMahon. Brian, as I said, handled a lot of ball for Listol so far in this game. Brian gets it down the field, but Dan Gogarty's in the way. Dan Gogarty to Kean O'Mahony, back to Dan Gogarty. Hard tackling there, hard but fair. But Pat Channing decides well in the finish with a pull on the jersey. Free, Dan Gogarty kicks it across to Conor Kennelly, to John O'Mahony. John punching it on up the field. Garrod Kassan, Garrod Kassan, chased by Adam Scollard. Garrod still with the ball. 4-2 to 10 points. The ball coming back to Eddie Houlihan. Eddie Houlihan, across to John O'Mahony. John thought about a shot, changed his mind. Back to Eddie Houlihan. Back all the way up is Michal Gogarty. Michal Gogarty to Daniel Reardon, but it's gone. To the right and wide. The Valley to the full back line is Michal Gogarty, Mike Scanlon, and Dean Dowling. The half back line. As the score is 4 2 to 10 points, 8 and a half minutes gone. Dean Dowling, Dan Gogarty, and Willem Kassan, Kian O'Mahony, and John O'Mahony is the midfield. 
We'll give you the rest as we go along. They still have it, but ball broken by Dean Dowling. And Dean still tossing away. Well won by Dean Dowling. Deserved a free for that. And he gets it. Right. The free will be as quickly taken. And that's another foul on Sean Cassan by Dan Chute. And this is a chance for Barry Dunahu. Possibly Gerard Cassan. The Barry Dunahu full forward line is Thomas Deanahan, Sean Cassan, and Daniel Reardon. Veterans of the game and great servants. Gerard Cassan, one of the younger members. Gerard has a chance here. In the goals, Thomas Deanahan, Shane O'Driscoll, referee Pat Shanahan. Mikey Kennelly behind him as Garrod tips it over the bar so Barry Dunahu increased their lead four goals they've scored so far Mikey Kennelly calling for attention to a Listol player in there but Sean Cassan the captain has got two goals and a point Thomas Deenan got two goals can Barry Dunahu when the North Kerry Intermediate, North Kerry Junior and the Novice Championship. The next 20 minutes or so will tell. The Stole was a difficult team to beat, difficult on their own ground. The injured player there is Adam Scollard, might be going off. So Listol will be bringing on the substitute for Adam Scollard as Mikey Kennedy prepares to take the kick out. Mikey, a long kick right under the middle of the field. Still a great kick out of the ball. Paddy Buckley breaks it down, but John O'Mahony is there. John O'Mahony tackled by Locke and Maloney, but gets it across. Cross to Sean Kissan. Sean going right through. Danger for Listol. Sean Kissan. And he's pulled back. And Pat Shanahan gives the free. He gave the advantage first, but Shaw was pulled back and a free end. So Ballyden who beginning to get on, on top now in this game. In the first 10 minutes of the second half, another chance for Garrod Kassan maybe to get his third point of this game. Here he comes. And he taps it over the bar. Point by Garrod Kassan. Garrod Kassan, Willem Kassan, Sean Kassan. Three of the same surname on the Barry Dunahu team. Mikey Kennelly. Not only is he still playing, has been the chairman and the manager and a player with Listol over the years. Will kick this one out long into the middle of the field, he normally does. Joey Lynch has come on on the far side of the field there for Barry Dunahu. Good to see Joey back playing football. Very good young footballer. A couple of years ago. Back again. And the ball with broken into the middle. It might pick up by Connor Kennelly. Connor at the hard tackle, but the play goes on. Or it doesn't. Pat Shanahan brings it back for a free as Donald Dyle had the ball there. A hard tackle maybe on Connor Kennelly. Donald Dyle leaving it to. Darren Gogarty may be coming up from centre back. Darren might kick it quickly. Donald Dial back to Darren Gogarty. Darren in it goes between Sean Kissan and Shane O'Driscoll. Or is it Thomas Dean and Shane O'Driscoll? And the ball, let's all get it away. Ball kicked down the field. And very close to the sideline. And it's not gone over the sideline. But I don't know who have it again. They stole unlucky there, the ball didn't quite go where they intended. The ball with Dean Dowling. Dean Dowling. Dean getting it across the field. Over there, selling up the field is Eddie Hulhan. Eddie. Kicks it in. High one. But will it go out to the right? And Shane O'Driscoll decides to keep it in play. Shane. Tackled by Thomas Deanahan. Gets the ball in to John Keane, who has come on as a substitute. John Keane, the ball now with Conor Kennelly. Conor Kennelly being tackled by Tom Melvin. Maybe 
Foul though says the referee. Play goes on. Kian Mahaney gets it back to Sean Kassan. Sean Kassan. It's blocked down in there. And the referee brings it back now, maybe for a pull of the jersey just before that. John Keane in, maybe there for Adam Scholar who got injured. 14 minutes gone. Betty Dunahu, four goals and four points. That's 16 points. Let's go, limits 10 points. Six points in the difference. And a free into Betty Dunahu. This maybe Garrods might be his third. I'm not too sure. I might have said that a while ago, but it might be his third now. And it is gone over the bar anyway. Betty Dunahu, four goals and five points to. Emmett's 10 points. Oh, is it? Maybe it is. Not too sure. We'll see in a minute. Mike, but he don't definitely have four goals. Mikey Canelli to take the kick out. Normally kicks it long. And a fine long kick he has. In the modern game, not too many were kicked out this length. Kicked out short and a lot of senior championship games right now. The ball breaks in the middle of the field. They're tussling for it. Patch, uh, the ball breaks some way or other to William Kassan. William Kassan gets it to John O'Mahony. John O'Mahony out to Conor Kennelly. Conor Kennelly looking towards the goals. Conor still going. Tackled by John Keane. Now being tackled by Tom Melvin. Back it comes to Keane O'Mahony. Keane into the middle to Garrod Kassan. Garrod Kassan, that's a good shot by Garrod Kassan, but it's broken down by Mikey Kennelly. Mikey, since he came in, has saved the stolen on a few occasions. Beaten on maybe another occasion by Sean Kassan. Brian McMahon crossing the goals for the ball. Might get it out to John Keane. He does. John Keane. Now the ball with Kieran O'Sullivan. Kieran O'Sullivan being tackled by William Kassan. Still with the ball. And breaking away again is Breen McMahon. This Dole's probably one of their very, very good players tonight. This is Eddie Brown. He made a very good run earlier on and got a point with his left foot. Eddie Brown into Paddy Buckley. But it comes back to Eddie Brown. Danger here. And it's a goal. John James Buckley, the scorer. Well worked goal. Again, Eddie Brown's run. Causing problems there for Barry Dunho. But then Eddie Brown is a very good young athletic footballer. Got a good point in the first half. Or sorry, at the start of the second half. And now made that goal scored by John James Buckley. Another great servant of the GAA in Listowel. Great to see these players playing and helping out younger players and keeping the game going on both sides. Youth and experience. As the ball is kicked out by Eddie Sheehy on the far side of the field. Over there is uh, Kian O'Mahony. Kian O'Mahony gets to the cross. Is that uh, Eddie Hulan? Eddie Hulan. Can you get back to Kian O'Mahony? Kian back to Eddie Hulan. Eddie looks towards the goals. That's a good shot by Eddie Hulan. And again, Mikey Kennelly breaks it out to Tom Melvin. I don't know who got two goals from high balls there in the first half. But Mikey Kennedy has come along and certainly has punched maybe three or four of those well out the field in dangerous situations. List all player down injured. Not too sure who it is from here. It might be Locke and Maloney. As the scoreboard tells us it's four goals and five points. That's 17 points. 110 for Listol, 13. Almost 18 minutes gone. Four points in it. 13 minutes for Listol to bring down that four point lead. Or for Barry Donahu to add to the intermediate junior championship. Uh, sorry, to the junior championship. To add a seat to their junior or intermediate final, I should say. And then our Kerry Senior Championship and Senior League. Having a good year regardless of what happens tonight. But these fellas would want to win this game too. The Willem Kassan. Willem Kassan punched it across. It might come to Eddie Brown. Eddie Brown. Joey Lynch. Eddie Brown gets it out. Brian McMahon. Back to Eddie Brown. Eddie Brown. 
passes it beyond Michal Gogarty. And the ball's kicked away downfield, but Kian O'Mahony in the way knocks it down. And Bellington will break again on the far side of the field. Eddie Hulan kicks it across into the middle. And John Keane might get it for the stall, he doesn't. And it is Michal Gogarty winning that ball pretty well. And the ball going way up the field. It's Garrod Kassan, is it? And that is. It's gone. Is it gone wide? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Not too sure. A score, Rudd will tell us shortly. Not too sure. The umpires might be like ourselves, looking up into the glare of that light as Mikey Kennedy will take the kick out. Four goals and six points. That might have been a point over there by Garrow. You'll see it yourself when you rewind tonight. The glare of the light, as I say, we're not making excuses. We're doing our best in a voluntary capacity on camera. Tim O'Connor, me, Robert Bunyan, to bring you this novice championship final. Four, six to one, ten. That's 18 points to 13. As Mikey Kennelly prepares to take the kick out, kicks it to this side of the field. Not too many have come to our side. Would make it easier for us. Darren Gogarty with the ball. The referee seen something there. It's a free. Darren Gogarty. Plays it back. Plays it back to Willem Kassan. Back to Darren Gogarty. The ball now with Sean Kassan. Back to Willem Kassan. Back to Darren Gogarty. 4 6 to one ten. 21 minutes almost gone in the game. The ball with Willem Kassan. Willem Kassan, back to Garrod Kassan. If that's a point, it's a very good one. And no, it's gone to the right and gone wide. As Mikey Kennelly will prepare to take one of his many kickouts and that he has taken in this game since he has come on. As we look across at the list hole, dugout. Kick out, Mikey Kennelly. Going back. Can Listol come back in the last eight or nine minutes of this game or can Bellagian who hold on? Kick out way down the field. It has gone a long way from the kick out. And going over there towards it is John O'Mahony. John doesn't spare it, just pulls on it and out over the sideline. Over there near the Saint, near St. Michael's College. The Bellagian who dug out, Jackie Hagerty. Looking out there on this Barry Janahusi team in the Navas Championship final of 2017. A ball with Paddy Buckley. Paddy still soldiering on. Gets the ball down and gets it back again. And the ball going down maybe towards John James Buckley. Over there in the corner, the ball's kicked in now. And they're still attacking, but maybe it's gone to go astray. And it's pulled on by Hall Gogarty. Got by Kean O'Mahony. Kean has had a solid tough game for Bally Dunhoe. Michal Gogarty coming out again. Coming well into this game now is Michal Gogarty. Garrod Kassan. Garrod Kassan. Over maybe to Eddie Houlihan. Eddie Houlihan. To Michal Gogarty again moving up the field. Michal kicks it further up. Might come to Garrod Kassan. Garrod. Uh, and the boss passed in. Thomas. Sean Kassan to Thomas Dinehan. Is this the. It is Thomas Dinehan. With his hand up in the air. Sergio Aguero did it for Man City today. Thomas Dean doing it for Ballyden Ho tonight. Three goals. Sean Kissan going through. Laid it off to Thomas Dean And that's his third goal of this game. He will be delighted and so will Ballyden Ho. Thomas, two in the first half, one in the second half. Sent that one rocketing to the roof of the net. That surely decides this game but you can't be sure but that's Belgian who's fifth game our fifth goal in this game three by Thomas Dinehan two by Sean Kassan at Michal Gogarty who came right into this game in the last 10 minutes and came up the field for that goal and it might be if or is it no play goes on thought it might have been a free there but Pat Channon is closer than I am Tom Melvin coming out for the stall what a Turn up for this game. Paddy Dunhoe scoring five goals. 
often unusual that you'd get that this goal also got a very good goal by John James Buckley but they trail right now as Barry and Ho are heading for victory the ball with Dara Hughes Dara Hughes but who knows as one or two goals could change all this Dara Hughes takes his shot and is that going over the bar it is a good point by Dara Hughes as Eddie Sheehy goes back the rain has stopped here in Listowel as I say a magnificent setting if you have just joined us in the North Kerry Championship the novice final of 2017 played here in a crisp January evening in Frank Sheehy Park Listowel the ball nicely flicked up by Sean Kassan but the referee had decided it's a free to Listowel the ball with Dara Hughes Dara Hughes back to Tom Melvin Tom Melvin Tom Melvin and the ball goes in D danger in there but it's picked up by Kieran Sullivan might come back to John James Buckley already got a goal but that's tailing away or it's not thought it was going to go wide but it's got maybe there by Dan Gogarty N2 uh, Kian O'Mahony Kian O'Mahony Joey Lynch Kian O'Mahony Barry Dunhope pull away again John O'Mahony is free over here if they see him Darren Gogarty Darren Gogarty Listow would have needed a goal maybe at the other end there if they were to make inroads into Barry Dunhope's lead they didn't get it the ball with Michal Gogarty handled a lot of the ball in the last 10 minutes did Michal Gogarty the ball with is it Kian O'Mahony or is it Garrod Kassan it's a very good point it might or is it Sean Kassan you'll see it yourself tonight as I say the glare of the light is not helping us from our vantage here on the stand but that was a very good point might have been Garrod Kassan not too sure anyway the score is 5-7 15 and 7 22 to the stoles 11-14 Barry who lead by 8 they are unlikely to lose that lead at this stage but we'll wait for the final whistle they're on top again the ball back with Willem Kassan back to Kian or forward to Kian O'Mahony to Sean Kassan Sean Kassan Willem Kassan Garrod Kassan that's three of them of the same surname John O'Mahony way over to the far side of the field as Darren Gogarty Darren breaking up the field as he often does being tackled by Brian Mackman still with Darren Gogarty gets it it comes across to Eddie Hulhan Eddie Hulhan got it from Joey Lynch ball is kicked in and he might come back to Joey Lynch they're still tossing away in there for it and it, it, it's gone out gone out for a 45 Gerald Kazan was in there as was Shane O'Driscoll gone for a 40 or is it it is a 45 Well, time ticking away for Listowel to come back, or for Barry Dunahu to win the Novice Championship of 2017 with a mixture of youth and experience and three goals from Thomas Dinehan. That will be talked about for a long time to come. As the ball is quick, the ball is quickly taken, but that might tail away out for Eddie Hoolan. Or does it? Does it goes out? Maybe Mikey Kennedy keeps it in play rather than leave it go wide. He's fouled by Thomas Dinehan. And the ball is kicked out. Shane O'Driscoll. Shane O'Driscoll. Another long severing member of this Dole football club. A ball with Brian McMahon. Brian McMahon. John Keane. John Keane. Eddie Brown. Eddie Brown. This Dole not giving up. Ball kicked away down the field and the referee sees something there bringing the play back it might be a free out and it is John O'Mahony kicks it out to Willem Kassan Willem has also handled a lot of ball in the second half Willem making progress up here in front of the stand pity more of the play wasn't over here but anyway you will see the five goals for Barry Donahoe tonight and the 111 that they stole a score so far. Paddy Buckley. Paddy getting it. And that's Coleman. 
Coleman off Laharty just coming into the game for the stall. Coleman, whom we see refereeing a lot of Christian and Low games this year in North Kerry. Coleman going down the field. The stall, well, maybe it's not their night now. John O'Mahony gets it out. The ball comes away up, and that is might be a free to Barry Ho. Fouled by John Keane on Sean Kassan. Donald Dyle picks it up. Gives it back to Sean Kassan. Sean, those two goals. And going through there for the last one. Sean playing as a team player. Laid it off to Thomas Dean and Thomas didn't miss. Sean Kassan still with the ball. Gets it back to Willem Kassan. It's Michal Gogarty. Back to Sean Kassan. Sean Kassan, Barry Dillon holding possession now, maybe playing out time, Conor Kennelly. Conor Kennelly, hard to blame them as they lead by five goals and uh, seven points. That's 22 to 14. The ball kicked across Barry, Danny O'Mahony. Danny in the game now for Barry Dillon. Good to see Danny back and a Barry Dillon who shot as well. And Jackie Hagerty has made an appearance for Barry Dillon. Jackie, good to see him out on the field as well, has given a lot to Barry Donohue and fundraising and so on. And would you believe referee Pat Shanahan has blown the full-time whistle and Barry Donohue have won the North Kerry Novice Championship Final. Five goals and seven points, that's 22 to 111-14 here in Frank Sheehy Park in Listowel. We hope you enjoy this game as we will make our way maybe to the presentation. teams for an excellent game of football. Jeez, I, I've watched a few of these finals over the years and, and by God there wouldn't be a tie suit to come to see another one. But tonight's game, a fantastic game of football. It shows the numbers up there in Berlin who are in this goal for three teams. Fantastic effort. Some of the older lads there in, in this goal and, and indeed in Berlin Dunho. Uh, you're, 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 you're a credit to the clubs that you're, you're, you're in. So fair play to you and well done. Um, I want to thank the image for hosting the game. Um, under lights and novelty, and I think there should be more use made of this pitch, maybe with the lights, if you might agree. But um, no, it was a lovely, uh, lovely uh, event to have on this evening, and the, the, the conditions were, were very good. Our referee thanks Pat Shannon and his team again for um, a fantastic uh, officiating. Well done, let the game run, and that's what it's all about with football winners and the finish. Well done to Billy Dunho, a team for you. <laughs> The new dubs on the team. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, to, to the fantastic achievement to win the senior and to win the intermediate and to come on tonight and win the junior. Fair play to you. So, I'll hand this over now with one, one hand. <laughs> 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 Lads, we keep this short and sweet. Um, I suppose I want to thank the management and the selectors. I'm not sure for what, but <laughs> they showed up to all the games anyway this year. So 
And to thank Donal and Brendan, Dermot, Martin, and um, I think Joe Moran, I'm not sure if he's selected or not, but he was the man that got us all the games. <coughs> the selectors had much of a job for much of the year. There was only enough there to pick the bear 13 or 15. But anyway, um, look, I want to thank Valley Dunahoo Club. Two years ago, we proposed putting in a C team, and some people laughed at us that we wouldn't have the numbers, we wouldn't be able to feed the team. But I don't think we. We fielded the team in every game, I think, and we were competitive in every game. And I think tonight is the culmination of all that. So thanks to Belly Dunahoo for putting us forward. Um, like Johnny said, I think it was a great game of football. I know I'm a bit biased, but I think that was a, a super game of football. The pitch was a little bit heavy, but considering the weather we've had, it was in great condition. So thanks to Mr. All for the pitch. Finally, three cheers for this all. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! 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 Hooray!